deep in the heart of your heart is something that is set on fire to keep you going? What is the passion in your heart today? What keeps you going today? Is it the Holy Spirit who's deep within? The same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and me. It's not that the dream is too big, it's our thinking is too small. We need to enlarge our thinking to where the Bible says nothing is impossible. Where are we going to find the leaders? Where are the leaders going to come from who are going to take us to that next level? Our challenge is to find them, to release them, to empower and equip them and to develop leaders so that we can fulfill the mandate and the mission which God has given us as a church in this city at this time. Imagine how we could transform this city, our worlds, this nation, if all of us prayed, if all of us nailed this issue of prayer. Why bother to pray? Because it makes a huge difference to what God wants to do in our lives and in our world. So let's be bothered to pray. good deeds, faith in good deeds, and that's what I believe begins to make the perfect cycle in our lives. That's when we begin to move forward, when faith in good deeds come together. It's not just faith, it's not just good deeds, but it's the two coming together, and that's when we begin to move and begin to make a difference for Jesus. God's still calling men and women of all ages, of all social classes, of all ethnicity to preach his word. And you standing up tonight, you say, what does it commit you to? It commits you to this, okay? Don't wait. Grab this opportunity with both hands. Do what? Start reading the Bible. He's the God who parted the waters. He's the God who calmed the sea. God who spoke through the fire, you're the God who lives in me. Then you close the mouth of the lion, brought the strongholds down with ease. You're the God who conquered the giant, you're the God who fights for me. You're the God who parted the waters, you're the God who comes.
you don't feel like we are righteous but if you have to believe that if you repent of your sin if you have asked for forgiveness you have to believe that i am a righteous person righteousness is given through faith in jesus christ to all who believe i don't care who you are i don't care what you have done if you confess jesus as your savior and lord and if you ask for forgiveness you are righteous through jesus christ thank you so much lord we get to serve this great god as he is reaching out to our city we thank you lord lord we get to be part of what you're doing of the story you're writing lord you place blessing and favor upon everyone as we step into 2020 god that this will be the year father of harvest lord in our own personal lives this will be a year of harvest in our families lives this will be the year of harvest as we step in as a church family god and as a city this would be the year of harvest for our city of Aberdeen. god we pray lord and we just want to come and say you are god and say thank you father for all that you've done and all that you are in our lives in jesus name amen, amen.